to Learning Bytes short, sharp bits of information that allow you to take what you learn and apply it immediately so that you get results. Today, we're going to be looking at your POD, or what we often call your point of difference, what some people call your unique selling proposition, your USP. Whatever you call it, its purpose is very simple. It answers the fundamental question, given all of the choices that I've got out there, why should I choose you? Why should I choose to do business with you as a business? And what your POD does, what your point of difference does, is it gives the customer a reason for dealing with you. Most businesses and most sales reps actually don't know what that reason is. Many of them really struggle to clearly articulate it. Many people struggle to even get their head around it. So in this short chart lesson, here's a way of looking at your point of difference and using those letters POD to think about how you might frame what it is that you do so well that make people choose to do business with you and therefore other people might choose to do business with you as well. So the first thing to look at is the people, the P part. What people are you best set up to serve? You see, when you truly understand who you're best set up to serve, then you can serve them incredibly well. You know, Bill Cosby once said, I don't know the secret to success, but the secret to failure is trying to please all of the people all of the time. As a business, you are best suited to helping certain people in certain ways. You serve a certain group of people really, really well. Who is that group? Know them. The better you know them, the better you can serve them. The next thing is, in knowing this group of people, you've got to ask yourself, well, what do we offer them? That's the O. What is it that we offer this group of people? And why should they care? What is it that we offer them? Being really clear on your offering. Now, please be very clear that when we talk about an offering, people do not buy what you sell. People buy what it does for them. If you want to know more about that, please do look at our next Learning Byte, where we'll be discussing this in greater depth. And then the third thing we want to be looking at is what is different about what it is that you do? What is so different about what you offer that is going to make people decide to choose you? There's the deal. Something that's different enough is going to help me to decide to use you. Something that means something to me, the customer. You see, when something's different, it's got to be able to connect with me. So as you start to look at your point of difference, who are the people that you are best set up to serve? What is it that you can offer them that will mean something to them that they'll want to get it? And what have you done as a business to make it easy to buy from you? To make it easy to decide that you are the business of choice, that you've got something that's different enough that I want to deal with you. We trust that you're able to apply this, make the most of it, and get the most out of these little learning bites that we put out. Do subscribe to our learning bites. If you want more information, jump onto our website, www.thinkrights.co.nz for more additional information. We will look forward to serving you further. Make it a great day.